Thank you for joining me. Today we will discuss Pokemon Legends ZA, in particular the topic of real-time shadows being drawn at certain distances. I want to explain this from an educational and technical standpoint, and I will share my thoughts on it and what I think is actually quite impressive. So, in video games we have a very limited rendering budget and processing budget. Everything on the screen takes up some of that rendering budget. I'm not talking about real world money, I'm talking about your hardware. Your hardware can only render so much. Everything has to be rendered. The buildings, the heads-up display, the characters, the special effects, all of that takes a toll. When there are too many things that are too expensive on the rendering budget, then you will find that the game will start dropping in terms of the frame rate, the performance. We call that the performance starts to get worse. So let's have a look here. We expect to see shadows because shadows exist in the real world. This is a uh, approximation, a depiction of a world environment that kind of resembles our own. So we understand shadows should exist. So we can see that shadows are actually in the distance, but this is impressive. The reason why this is impressive is because there has to be a limit to the distance at which you draw shadows. Shadows are very expensive to process and render. Now, there's a little trick that these developers are using, and I have to admit that I am actually wrong. I was wrong in one of my previous videos when I saw that these shadows for the buildings were being drawn at distance. They were being drawn very far away. In my previous, in one of my previous shows, I said that, oh, the only way that, that they would do that is if they were baked. Baking means that they do not process real-time shadows. Baking means that the shadows were created while the game was being developed and that they don't change. They are fixed. And that would be quite plain. Uh, people would see the exact same shadows all day long, but I thought that's the only practical way to have shadows drawn at distance. But if we look into the distance, we can't see the buildings, their shadows being cut off. But if you have a look at these characters, if we get a certain distance from the characters, we stop rendering their shadows, but actually, it's quite impressive in this game. This game actually renders them from quite far away, and it's significantly more than in previous games, especially when it comes to other Nintendo games. You can see the character just at the distance. That is about as far as we go before the character shadow is no longer rendered. This is quite impressive because that's actually, that's, I would say it's about two times or two and a half times the distance at which shadows are rendered in scarlet and violet so this is a significant improvement in terms of the draw distance now the reason why this is an issue is that if the end user if the player sees the shadows being culled being not drawn if they see the shadows suddenly disappear it's immersion breaking it has a negative impact on the overall experience um, and the, the product overall just becomes immersion breaking. So you can see that character just to the right there, you can see that they're, as we get farther and farther away, we can still see their shadow. Here's what I think is happening. I believe the shadows are actually still being rendered, but they are being rendered at a significantly lower resolution. If we have a look at the buildings here, you can actually... If you pay close attention, you can actually see the point at which we switch to a lower resolution for the shadows. So, so have a look at the shadows of the building in there. You see where there seems to be a visual anomaly. The closer we are to the camera, the higher resolution the shadows are. And that's so it looks accurate, it looks detailed. But as we get farther from the camera, you can see it is significantly lower resolution. That means that there is less detail, it is less accurate, but that also means it is significantly cheaper to render. This to me tells me that the developers have considered that if we do not see shadows for the buildings in the distance, it is jarring. It has a significantly negative impact on the end experience. We take a look from the rooftops here. You can see as we look down the street, we can still see the shadows being rendered for the buildings and you can see the shadows being rendered there. And it's quite interesting as we leave the early morning hours that the lights and buildings seem to flicker uh, and turn off and on uh, or turn off. So this is quite impressive. And again, I have to make a correction to uh, one of my previous assessments, which was not entirely accurate, is that all of the lighting 
and shadows are being processed and rendered in real time and that the positioning intensity and color of the atmospheric lighting does change i was not expecting that i am actually impressed to see that in this game and i'm heartened to see that this is something that the developers have put effort and time into considering now if we have a look here you can see a little bit of that visual artifacting there the tell this is the tell where we can see that there is the cutoff point for the higher resolution shadows you see as the shadow there on the ground fades that is the distance at which the high resolution shadow stops being rendered and we use the lower resolution shadows and it is a low enough resolution to where it is detailed enough to look good it visually conveys that the building is casting a shadow it is enough to show that the developers had to have put a significant amount of effort and thought into implementing this solution so i am quite impressed i'm very heartened to see that this is not the kind of competence or understanding that we saw in previous pokemon games let's quickly put on screen pokemon violet and we will see how that game handles the exact same requirements here if we take a look at the screen with scarlet and violet there is a hard limit to the distance at which shadows are rendered and it does not look very appealing it's quite unappealing to see all the shadows just disappear it's unpleasant here thanks to this solution which the developers have implemented it's very pleasant being able to see the shadows in the distance if this was scarlet and violet if the developers repeated the same mistakes from that game we would not see the shadows on the buildings there we actually would it would be very unlikely that we would even see the shadows on the ground there and it would be very jarring to see the, the shadows fade in and out so the fact that the developers have put that much thought that much level into this is a very good sign it means that they have an understanding of visual communication of visual expression they have an understanding of using the tools available to them and their game engine in order to produce something that is expressive and coherent they have produced something that is performant because implementing this the way they did means that the game can still run at a decent performance while maintaining immersion i have a significant amount of respect for the developers for the work that they've put into this because it is significantly more time and more competence has gone into this game than their previous switch entry so i am very heartened to see that i hope this was interesting for you and i hope that i've done a sufficient job enough explaining why this is actually quite impressive and it is something that i'm very glad to see games like breath of the wild don't even implement solutions like this i went back and checked breath of the wild they have a hard cutoff for the shadows they stop rendering the shadows on the terrain so this is actually one thing that the game does do better than breath of the wild and i'm sure there's going to be people on the internet that will be very um vocal and then they'll throw a little tantrum that i've said that pokemon did something better than the legend of zelda breath of the wild so that's just how it is they've implemented a solution that it's efficient it works and it looks good thanks very much for joining me on today's show i hope you're looking forward to more of these topics if there are any other topics in particular that you would like me to address please let me know and i will consider them all the best be well take care Thank you.